What's up guys, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to move and rotate uh, meshes in your VOP file. I'm gonna show you it on an example of this seeds from my upcoming mod. As you can see these seeds are actually almost in 0, 0, 0 in neutral position in 3ds Max. They are in uh, position as they should be uh, in the car. I didn't make any changes uh, to the position or anything. I have already exported them, created gen black script. I put them on mesh number 6. As in original XRVOP, uh, the seeds are also in this mesh. And compiled the script, didn't make any changes, put it into LFS folder, and let's see how it looks in game. Well, as you can see, the seats are completely misplaced, and moreover, they are duplicated. And I'm sure many of you <laughs> has uh, faced this problem, uh, so this tutorial will show how to get rid of this thing and how to put them in correct position. Okay, so all we need to do is to open our VOP in any kind of hex editing program. Personally, I'm using HHD Hex Editor Neo, but you can use also WinHex, which is very popular, or anything. They are all pretty much uh, similar. Okay, this is our VOB. As you can see, there are many cells, letters, digits, also some, some names. Okay, but we need uh, to find mesh number 6. Of course, we won't scroll down until we find <laughs> desired mesh, because it will cost us lots, lots, lots of time. We need to find object name in this particular mesh. So in our modified mesh, for example, in my in my model I have photo F object and to find this mesh number 6 we need to find our modified, uh, our new uh, object name. So hit Ctrl F, look for that name, hit find and here it is. Of course there will also be some original XR or any kind of VOP uh, original object names. This is first object name back. And three lines over there is this little letter on a hex, it is E3. And this is very important because this is the beginning of each mesh. Each mesh has some kind of. Uh, it's pretty much similar. At most times it is. E2 or E3, and E3, actually this uh, three uh, digit, tells us that the mesh is duplicated, as uh, we saw this on the example of our seats. So to make them single, so that there will be only two seats instead of four, we need to change three to two. Let's save the file, open the game again. And as you can see, we have only two seats, but they are still not in correct position. So, here in Hex Editor, first of all, we need uh, for, to make editing easier, we need to convert these uh, cells into decimals. So, we said display as decimal. And now we have only some digits. And when here is our first object name in this mesh, we need to move by 11 steps to the left, starting from this first letter of first object. So we need to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And here we have some number. Of course, all these 10 numbers may vary depending on which mesh you are working on. 
Sometimes it may be also zero, as probably it is in mesh number one, in this main mesh. This uh, sells stored position of the model. To reset uh, this mesh to neutral position, as in 3ds Max, all we have to do is to set all these cells to zeros. So, okay, let's leave enlightened cell and this 11th cell. Let's save and see what's changed. And it is all fine. Let's take a closer look. Of course, the seats or the driver is still not in perfect position, but because uh, this uh, model I'm uh, making is a bit smaller than XR, but I will cor correct it later. Anyways, the seats are in position as they should be. Okay. To make changes to the position, uh, this 11th cell is responsible for the Y position, so it means that if we make this uh, value higher, the seats or our mesh will go up. So let's put this cell at 100, let's save. And the result is that the seats went up. Okay, let's leave this cell at 1 so that we know this is the 11th cell from this first object. And let's move by 4 steps to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this cell is responsible for the front to back position. Actually, if we make this cell higher, for example, 100, it means that the mesh will go more to the front, as you can see in a second. Yes, the seats went more to the front. And again, let's leave this cell at 1. Let's move another four steps to the left, one, two, three, four. And this cell is responsible for left to right position. Actually, if we set this value higher, the mesh will move more to the left. There is some way to move it to the right, the same as with this to move to the back or with this to move down. It depends on these numbers between those cells, but I didn't manage uh, to make such thing, but if I get to know, I make a video about it. But for now, let's put this at 100, let's save. And you will see the seats will move to the left. Yes. Okay, for now, let's leave this. The most important thing is that to make the object the, to make the mesh to the, uh, move to the origin we need to set these 10 cells by zero and to rotate our mesh which is very useful when you are making uh, some uh, rotated tilted objects and the texturing in LFS doesn't allow us to make uh, UVW mapping or anything like this so this is the easiest way to make our texture look better on uh, rotated objects. So if this is the beginning of our mesh, we need to move by 21 steps to the right. So let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. This cell is responsible for the first dimension of rotation. As for now the seats were in a neutral position. Let's change this cell by 20 and let's see what changes did it make. As you can see the seats got rotated 
as when we are looking at them from the side. And which is, what is very important is that these cells can store value which varies between one, 0 and 255. The value 255 equals uh, 0, which means uh, that the rotation is 360 degrees. If we put this at 255, the seats will actually be in neutral position again. Yep, they are all back to normal. Now let's move by two steps from this cell, one, two, and this is another dimension of rotation. Let's put it at 20, let's save, and you will see that the seats get rotated, rotated in another dimension, in dimension when you are looking from the front. And the same as with previous cell, also 255 means 360 degrees. And when we move another two steps, this is the third dimension of rotation. Let's save and see. This third uh, dimension of rotation rotates our mesh as when we are looking at it from the top okay as you can see and again 255 means 360 degrees of rotation so we need to remember to look for that our modified names three lines up to the up is beginning of the mesh 11 cells to the left from the beginning of first object there are position values and 21 to the right there is first one uh, of rotation and the next six is our rotation of our object so that's all for this for this tutorial I hope it helped you if you uh, have any questions feel free to ask here or on drift mods I will try to reply to all your questions good luck